Hundreds of people in the Thames Valley have been packing public events this week to get an update on how the controversial High Speed 2 rail line will affect them. The government company behind the project says hundreds of changes have been made to take into account public concerns over noise in the environment. But many say they face misery and are left with homes that are worthless. Our transport correspondent Mike Pearce has more. In their hundreds, they've been turning out to hear the latest from HS2. The company say they've been making hundreds of changes to the scheme and want to let local people know. They include moving the line, noise reduction measures and even a longer tunnel under the Chilterns. But the reaction was mixed, with some affected still far from happy. Those people that are affected by HS2 should be treated fairly and clearly that is not happening and that is what's concerning many people. It's about saying, OK, if you're going to spend £50 plus billion pounds on the line, fine. You should be able to spend a little bit more money properly mitigating the effects that it's going to have on villages and people's properties. And this, a lot of people feel, is not happening enough. So you come away today not 100% satisfied? Correct, yes. Gary Eastman lives 190 metres from the new line and says the noise will make his life a misery. If he lived closer, HS2 would buy his house. But he's one of hundreds who live too far away to be fully compensated. HS2 have agreed to new noise barriers and other measures. But Gary says he's left with a house he can't sell, even if he wanted to. Well, for me, um, I, there's no question I couldn't sell my house. Not at the current situation with the current market values, I'd be looking at a loss of somewhere around 40%, even maybe even more than that. Maybe it's not even sellable at all in the current situation. Nobody in their right mind would buy my sort of property, a beautiful medieval house that's so near to the line. Well, we, the, the government has gone above, above and beyond the statutory responsibilities of the compensation code. We've launched the need to sell scheme, which is available for those people that have changes in their lifestyles, that want to move on, and also the rural support zone, and a, a range of measures that are out there for people that, that might be affected by the railway. But people must be selling you the same here, not everybody's happy. No, oh, and we get that. It's hard. As we, take, as we go through this process, we always find people that feel like things aren't fair. But the measures out there are above and beyond what the government has had to do in previous arrangements for projects like this. Just about where those cows are in the field out the back there now, 190 metres from the house. Flat open farmland. W was I 50 metres nearer to the line the government would buy my house? At the moment they won't, and I have to either put up with it or move away at a massive loss. That's the situation I'm in now, and I'm one of many in the village. The plan is currently going through Parliament. If all goes to plan, the £50 billion project will open in a decade. Mike Pierce, ITV News, Brackley.